what's up everybody this is your boy chris free back with another video in this video we are actually doing something special i'm going to show you guys how you can get your audio from reason or any other DAW into obs and other live streaming platforms so that you can live stream and or record your audio crystal clear without having to run cables into your interface or having to do any extra patchwork. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys this plugin called Restream. That's gonna give you the ability to send audio from your DAW into OBS. So there will be a link in the description to this website so that you can grab this effect. It is called Restream by Reaper. Um, Restream Reaper um, is what it's called. So when you go to this website, this Reaper website, download the version that is for your device, um, whether you have a 32 bit or 64 bit. And after you download that and install it, it basically operates just like a VST. So now I'll show you guys how you can add that VST into Reason so that it can send the audio from Reason into OBS. The first step you need to do is flip the rack and you can do that by pressing tab and then you need to hold shift and you're going to add the effect. It's going to be under this name, Cockles. I don't know why. I don't know why this doesn't say Restream or why it doesn't say Reaper, but this is the name that the VSC is saved under. So it will appear down here and you just need to add a Restream stand alone. Once you add the Restream Reaper into your rack what you need to do is open it and then you need to make sure that it's selected on local broadcast so it has this option receive audio send audio you need to make sure that it's set to send audio local broadcast the reason why we hold shift is so that it doesn't auto uh, route into any of these routing options we only want one specific routing option so i'm gonna show you guys two ways that you can route it first of all you can use this control room out and go straight audio in and if you do that on your mixer you have this knob here and you can control how loud or soft that music is going to be played into the stream so i'll show you an example right now it's all the way down you can see my meters are playing and there is music playing but as i turn up the control master then you will start hearing the music come in through OBS. So depending on, you know, how loud your music is and if you have things mastered or not or mixed or not, you know, you might want to adjust this control room out. You can leave it at zero dB. I uh, do notice that it, it kind of peaks a little bit there. So you might want to just kind of like pad it a little bit. You know just so it's not you know peaking or going crazy or anything like that now another way that you can do it of course you can hold shift again go to utilities and add an audio splitter and then from here what we want to do is make sure we open up this entire window so we can see the audio in and out and what we can do is we can send our master out to the split send one to the audio output and then send the other into our audio in for this VST device restream. And you will see the meters here as I play the music. So that's two ways that you can route it. You can either use the control room out on your master section, this control room out going into the restream reaper, or you can set up this audio merger splitter so that you have your master out of your master section going in. I think it's just very easy to just use the control room out, go straight to the audio in. And then of course, now you have this knob over here that you can use. All right, after that, we actually need to jump over to OBS. In order for you to get that restream now into OBS, you need to add an audio input capture and you can name it if you want. You can name it like, you know, whatever you want to name it. Um, so that way you can just stay organized and you need to choose one of these devices on your computer that you're not actually using. So I am using my microphone, which is the Blue Yeti. I'm actually using that to speak right now. And I'm using this Focusrite USB to play the music from Reason into my headphones. So what I'm going to use is this cable output VB audio virtual cable. You might have other choices and options to choose from. You just need to choose one from here that you're not currently using and press OK. From there, what you're going to do is click filters and you're going to have audio filters because it's an audio track and you're going to add in a VST plugin. You need to select the plugin that you want to apply to that filter and it's going to be the Restream standalone. So once we do that, we can open the interface and we just need to make sure that it says receive audio. So now that it's receiving audio, if I go back to reason and I play the music. So 
I kind of think of it like a walkie talkie where the computer can kind of send signals back and forth between the different DAWs. So depending on what DAW you have, as long as you can load up a VST, then you should be able to use this VST and it is completely free. So it's Reaper Restream. You just need to add the Restream standalone to your device or to your uh, VST master output. So if you have a master output on Logic FL Studio Reason, whatever your master output is, you just need to add it onto that master output. Then you need to come in here and create a input and then you need to add that filter in OBS and that will send audio into here. Now you also have this knob here. So if the music is coming in too loud, you can kind of drop the music down some. And they also have some other filters that you can apply. So there's a compressor gain, you know, all of these different things that you can apply, but actually like listen to it, make sure you listen to it and check it out before you use it. And I want to show you guys one last trick that you can do with this VST. I think it's super cool if you're using Reason. Probably if you're using other DAWs, you can probably do the same thing. But I'm going to show you guys because it's a VST, you can do some really cool things with it. Because this is an Reason instrument, you could um, add some effects. You know, you can add a compressor, you can add pretty much whatever you want to add to it. We can add a maximizer to it. We need to route the control out into the maximizer and then we route the audio input into the audio in. And so now this maximizer will affect it. So a couple notes on troubleshooting. If you're getting static or bad playback from your music, from your DAW, then you might need to reinstall a few things. You might need to reinstall the Reaper effect or you might need to uninstall and reinstall Reason or you might need to uninstall and reinstall OBS or you might need to actually make sure your drivers for your audio interface are updated. For me, I went ahead and did a clean install of OBS and I did an update on my drivers. I didn't reinstall Reason, but I did an update on my drivers and I did a full clean reinstall of OBS. And after I did that, I didn't have any problems with the music coming from Reason. If you're not getting any sound at all, you need to make sure that this VST is actually on and that it's in your rack. If you're using Reason and whatever the other VST you're using, you need to actually make sure that the VST in is enabled and make sure that you have this set to send audio and a local broadcast. If you choose broadcast, it's not going to send audio to OBS. So you need to make sure it's on local broadcast. So send audio local broadcast. If you run into issues with setting up an input capture on OBS, then you might need to do a clean install of OBS. And if you don't have any inputs that you can use that you're not currently using, then you can actually grab this VB audio virtual cable. It's completely free and just install it. And you don't have to actually set it to anything because you're not going to use it for anything other than the Restream standalone VST. So you can grab that. A link for that website will be in the description as well. If you're still not getting sound in your live stream or in your audio recording, there's two things you need to check. The first thing is your settings for your output. On your streaming output, by default, your audio track is set to one. You can change this to other tracks, but by default is set to one. Whatever this track is set to, it needs to match what is in your advanced audio properties. So here we have track one is checked and track one is checked for my audio, for my microphone, and for my DAW. If one of these is not checked on the first track, then it's not gonna come through the live stream, even if it's checked on one of these other tracks. Track one must be checked on so that it sends audio into the live stream output. For recording, it is a little different. When we go to the output for recording, we can select up to six audio tracks. So if we have 
all of these audio tracks on, then OBS can create multiple audio tracks that will show up in your video editing software. So you can just choose which of these tracks you want to send the audio to that individual track. So in this configuration, the first track has both my microphone and my DAW audio, but the second track only has my microphone. It doesn't have the DAW and the third track has the DAW, but no microphone. And so that way I get two tracks, one with just the DAW and one with just my microphone. And then I have the original that has both of them combined together. But of course, if I need to raise my voice or raise the audio on the music, then it's good to have multi-track out for this and this is the configuration you will need to do a multi-track recording remember for your stream you need to make sure whatever stream audio is set up in your output streaming if it's track one then everything in track one um, will come through the stream if it's track two everything checked off on track track two so basically this just needs to match and that might be a reason why you're not getting sound so this video covers the audio side of things. If you want to learn how I'm able to get my desktop into OBS, then you should check out this video right here. It's going to show you how you can set up scenes inside of OBS and get started with your live stream or simply recording your music production sessions. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace.